no sign of the escort, sir. The destroyer was to pick us up off Point Harvester. We passed Point Harvester an hour ago. Yes, I know. I don't understand it. I don't like it. Green, 4-5. Periscope, half mile. Action station! Action station. Out of port. Out of port, sir. Yeah, it's a U-boat, all right. And us with no escort. And then? Well, uh, then some hit about the U-boat, sir. And then she got us. Where were you at the time? Up to my neck in cold water, sir. <laughs> yes, I mean, what was your approximate position? Well, I would say latitude 60, longitude 30, sir. But an hour sail past Point Harvester. Thank you. Do you wish to cross-examine this witness? No, sir. The case for the prosecution is closed, sir. You may give evidence on your own behalf if you wish, but if you do so, you'll be liable to cross-examination. I wish to give evidence, and I have no other witnesses for my defense. Wouldn't want to be in his shoes. In him? Why, you ain't good enough to clean him. Pipe down, Mansell. Wait. Please read the sentence to the court. Court having found that the charge against the accused is proved, adjudges him, the said Lieutenant Commander Richard Francis Heritage, Distinguished Service Cross, Royal Navy, to be dismissed from His Majesty's service. Remove the accused. Court is dissolved. How'd it go, sir? I didn't believe a word I said. Can't say that I blame them. Can't understand it, sir. I have no proof. Thanks, I could do with one of those. Living Scott! I say, man, you don't seriously believe Sorry, Heritage. The court's finding was quite fair. You were given every chance. Well, I must be getting along. In a hurry. Uh, got a date. Well, that seems to be that. You've collected a very promising black eye. Yeah, the other bloke ain't no oil painting now, this sir. Scrapping again. I can't give you orders any longer, Mansell, but I do wish you wouldn't. Well, I couldn't let him say what he said. What was that? What did he say, sir? I don't just rightly remember. Couldn't have been that I got what was coming to me, eh, Mansell? Well, sir. Now, if you start pacing everyone who thinks that, my lad, you're going to have your hands full. Yes, yeah, sir. You know what the Admiral would have said to such goings on? He'd have said it didn't want for me, Mansell. <laughs> your father, begging your pardon, sir, all the 20 years I was with him, was always very partial to a bit of a go with the Dukes. Yeah? And in this case? In this case, like me and all the rest of the men, sir. He'd know it was like what you said, not like what I think. Thanks, Mansell. If I might make so bold, sir, what are you going to do now? I'm going to find the answer. Get that proof is the last thing I do. Can't let you and the Admiral down. Good for you, sir. Now, who could have slipped you them fake orders and pinched the real ones? I'm going to check up on everywhere I went the night before I sailed. Every person I met. Well, have a look, sir. Perhaps one of these here ladies might help you to remember. <laughs> I remember all them. Uh, Churchill of them, sir? Yes, I've done a bit of churching in my time, haven't I? Yes, sir. I remember your father. Now, the last person I talked to that night was Mary. Yes, Mary. <laughs> Mary, you must be more careful. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Ricardo. Oh, I cannot bear pain. I suffer, I suffer. And my hands especially, they are my fortune. With me, it is not as with a pretty girl, the face. But these mm, beautiful artistic hands, sir. How right you are. Well? No, I don't want to, really. I can't. You break my heart. I, I don't want to do that. Well, then you meet me tonight, as I say. Please. You make it so hard to say no. I make it impossible to say no. That's one of the secrets of my success. So, you will? Tonight? Anything else, sir? Electric massage? Today, no. Thank you, that's all right. Just ready for you, sir. Isn't Mary about? 
Manicure, sir? No, I just want to have a word with her. Oh, I'm afraid she's got someone waiting for her. Well, I won't keep her long. I'm an old friend of hers. All right. Mary! There's a gentleman for you. Oh, Dick. Hello. I'm so glad. I didn't know where you'd gone. I've got something very important to tell you. And I've got to ask you something. Are you on leave? After a fashion. Brilliant Dean, shaving cream, a razor blade. Can I interest you in anything? Thank you, no. I'm already interested. Au revoir, dear. Who's your fine friend? Oh, that's the great Ricardo, mind reader. Oh. He binds the girl's eyes with a scarf, and she knows everything he's got in his hands, every detail of it, mm -hmm. in the floor show of the hotel. He's really spectacular. So I noticed. Is he a good friend of yours? Well, Mary, how much longer have I got to wait? All right, Mary. I'll keep her quiet. I've got to talk to you. Yes, but not here. Something awfully strange happened that you must know about. What about lunch? Busy all day. But as soon as I'm through, five o'clock in the lounge. Right. You still wear the old manacle, I see. Never comes off. For luck. <laughs> Mary! All right. Five o'clock in the lounge. Pardon. I forget him. And uh, now, what can I do for you, sir? Take it off. I say, has Mary gone? Well, some time ago, sir. But she left a message for you. Said she was very sorry, got called away. It was something urgent. Urgent, eh? Yes, and would you meet her tonight at the Bell and Dragon? That's a place this is there. Oh, just a few miles out of the town, sir. Why there, I wonder? I don't know, maybe, unless it's because she, she goes to a place near there, Orchard Cottage. She got friends there. What time did she say? She didn't, uh, just said later in the evening, sir. Hmm. It's queer. What's the name of the pub? The uh, Bell and Dragon, sir. Thanks. Sir. Give me a pink gin, will you? No gin. Whiskey, then? No whiskey, sir. No gin, no whiskey, no lady. No license. Hmm. What have you got? Plenty of beer, sir. All right, I'll have a pale ale. Hmm. Do you know a place around here called uh, Orchard Cottage? About half a mile up the road, stands alone. Is it hard to find? Can't miss it, signs bright gate. Where do you want to go? Orchard Cottage. Oh, that's the place. I'll go past the office. Oh, hey, hey. What about your case within the bed? Oh, I'll get it in the morning. Right, oh. What did you mean, that place? What place? Oh, where I'm going, Orchard Cottage. Oh, I don't know. It's a queer place. Kind of mysterious, I always think, so whenever I pass it. Mysterious? Lonesome looking. Deserted. Oh, it can't be deserted. My uncles live there. And two old fellows, your uncles. <laughs> Fine chaps. I'm glad to hear the bike. Back? Where from? From the sea. Oh, but they've been back years and years and years. They retired ages ago. <laughs> I know, but they joined up again. Merchant Navy. Can't keep old sailors away from it these days. Of course you can't. Good old uncles. Oh, but. Suppose they're not home. Oh, they may be. They comes and goes. Anyhow, there's somebody there. Oh. Oh, yes, a housekeeper, I guess. No, I don't know. I haven't seen anybody. Only smoke from chimneys. And that's what makes it so queer. There's people there, but you don't never see them.
Kind of dark, though. Have you got your torch? Yes, sir. Now follow that path till you get to the gate. The house stands a bit back. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, thanks, something lass. So long. So long.
is Mary about? Oh, well, she hasn't been in this morning, sir. Most unusual. Where does she live? She hasn't been home either. Her mother came round this morning asking for her. She was worried, very worried. So am I. <laughs> you go to the food office. Oh, but it's not. Uh, what did you lose? I didn't. I found it. What, a parachutist? Oh, no, no, don't be silly, no. A body. A uh, ooze? I don't know, it was dead. Oh, accident or natural causes? Murder. Not murder. Well, I... Well, we'll, we'll do something. It is kind of unusual around here, you know. But say, you're in luck today. Detective Inspector Bullis is here from headquarters. You can tell him all about it. Do you know that man? Can't say I do. I think he is the murderer. Oh? You better arrest him. It's all right. I'll wait. Good. Take a seat, Mum. Oh. You leave me alone. I've got to talk to you before you tell the police. Tell them what? What have you been to tell them? Oh, so you're trying to intimidate me, are you? Good morning, miss. Morning. Now, about this murder, you didn't know the victim? No. Where did you find the body? In the bedroom. Whose bedroom? Yours? Oh, no. I don't know. My, one of my uncles, probably. In their house, Orchard Cottage. What she was doing there, I have no idea. The victim's a woman? Mm, a girl. Can you describe her? Oh, yes. She was, she was dark. Very dark, in fact. And quite young, too, I should think. Oh, and she had a bracelet with curious dangling charms on it. Of course, I couldn't tell how tall she was or anything like that. Anything else? Afraid not. Well, what do you want? I came here to ask about someone who seems to have disappeared. What? So this young lady's description exactly fits the person I'm looking for. Interesting coincidence. It's nonsense. He came out of the house just before I went in and found the body. But I was only there a minute before she arrived. And you stayed in the cottage all night. You did? With a dead girl? And why didn't you report the murder right away? Well, well, I... I was afraid. Of what? The murderer. Of him. Ridiculous. What were you doing at the cottage? I was looking for Mary. Mary who? Well, um, just Mary, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. I suppose you do know there is a dead girl. I, I do, but I do. I do. All right, all right. I'll want to question you both later, after we view the remains of the scene of the crime. Come along, son. Yes, you better come, too. Tell Higgins to take over. What's the name of this place? Oh, Orchard, Orchard Cottage, Cottage sir. This is the room. It's, it's in there. Must I go in again? I'd much rather not. Oh, all right. You stay here. Oh, 
Where did you say the body was? Oh, on the bed. You come in here. Oh, but, but she was there on the bed. Oh, not an hour ago. What can have happened? Where is she? I suspect she's where she always was, in your imagination. No, no, I, I saw her there, with her arm stretched out and the bracelet on it, and then the piece of paper in her hand. What paper? Oh, I'll show you. You took it? Yes, I... Oh, I thought it looked like a letter. I thought it would be evidence. I suppose your paper evidence has disappeared, too. Like the body. You! I only had part of the letter. It, it tore when I took it. Her hand was clutching it, so... Ah, rug or mortuous. Oh, I put it in here so carefully and it's gone. Young woman, we've had enough of your little game. You could have got your picture in the paper quite as easily by cracking up somebody's pills. And with less serious consequences. You don't believe me. You read my mind. Oh, but I tell you, she was there. Why, she had a scarf round her neck. Perhaps she had a sore throat. But why should I come all the way from Canada just to make this up? Well, there you have me. Come on, let's have your identity cards. Passport. Thank you, Commander Heritage. May I suggest you make a full report of your missing person to headquarters. Miss Verity, the law in England is not to be trifled with, especially in war times. You will be proceeded against for public mischief. Good morning. But I tell you, there was a body. There was. And what's more, someone else saw it, too. Who? The murderer. Yeah. And it isn't my job to find him. Quite right. It isn't your job. Oh. Let me give you a tip. Keep out of this. Oh, afraid I know too much? Perhaps. Oh, you mean... You mean the same thing might happen to... Me? Unless... What's that? What? <gasps> Poor kid. You're right. And it was my fault. Your fault? Someone was trying to stop her talking to me. Look out! <laughs> this is the perfect cottage for a murder. There's even a well. Oh, is it? Is it? No. Covered with cobwebs. Well, aren't you going to thank me for saving your life? Well, I... I... Oh, that scarf, you... You recognized it. And you... You must have seen the body. Wait a minute. Can't you understand I'm trying to help you? No thanks. I can take care of myself. But listen. And what's more, I'm going to prove to the police that I didn't invent the murder. Even if I have to find the murderer myself. Oh, the name on that paper, the name, if only I could remember it. Joshua on his 16th birthday. Second officer. Oh, first command. Joshua is a child. Child? Child, that was it. No letters for you, Miss Bernard. Oh, thanks. If anyone calls, I shall be a child's agency. Very good, Miss Bernard. Darling! Ah, oh, beautiful. I've looked for you everywhere. Funny you overlooked the one place you knew I'd be last night. Last night? And where were you, darling? Business, dear. Business. Most important. But every second I've think of you. I doubt it. Come on, let's go. Now? Where? Well, you know I'm singing for Child and that man from the BBC. Or did you forget? Your new number? Of course not. How could I? And today I cannot listen. I am desolate. Oh. But you tell me, so soon you finish all what happened, huh? I hope the BBC man likes it. Oh, he will. You sing it so good. You always say the right things. It's one of the secrets of my success. Key, please. 217. What a dear little dog. Sweet little dog sent straight from heaven. <laughs> no. How right you are. Bye. Excuse me, is this your dog? No. Hmm, funny. Why? It looks as if it might be. Do you happen to know whose dog it is? You better ask the porter. 
But I don't want to talk to the poor, sir. Excuse me, but I'm in a hurry. Good, I can give you a lift. No. Why not if you're in such a hurry? Because you are in too much of a hurry. And I don't like the look of you. I've got a very good-looking car. Be kind to her. No mother to guide her. Dog snatcher, Hector. Come to mummy. There. Oh, don't talk to me. Not another word, not a sound. Annette Leroy, Gloria Brent, Maisie Day, Pamela Donkin. Anyone else? You're late. I want to see Mr. Chart. Huh, who doesn't? What's your name? Oh, Laura Verity, why? Here for the chorus call, aren't you? Well, I... what? Yes or no? Is it flip, flap, flop you want to, don't you? Because if not, come back next week. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, well? Uh, flip what you said. It must be today, not next week. Well, why didn't you say so, wasting our time? Come on, kids, make it snappy. Mr. Charles waiting. Excuse me, could you tell me in confidence, uh, do you know anything about a girl called Mary? Mary who? Oh, just, just Mary. Dozens of Marys, and I know all about all of them. Uh, this one was very dark and, and young and... Well, oh, they're dark one day, blonde the next, and some of them young. Very count it up, you toots. Oh, dear. Uh, excuse me, is, is Mr. Child in there? Yes. Nervous, aren't you? Don't worry. If your legs are all right, you're all right. What have my legs got to do with it? You'd be surprised. <laughs> Yes, rather. Thanks very much, everybody. That should come over splendidly. Now, where's Lily Bernard? Lily? Uh, I'm afraid she's not here, Mr. Child. Not here? Where is she? What time is your train? It's all right. I can stay a bit longer. She'll be here at any moment. I wonder if you'd mind, while we're waiting, my selecting a chorus for a review. Okay, go ahead. Right, Henry. I'll just run through these girls. Come on, ladies. Get in the line. Hurry it up. Not a bad lot, eh? Pity we're not doing television anymore. Please, Mr. Child, huh? if you don't mind, I'd, I'd like to ask you something. Hey, hey, hold on. I ask you the questions. Oh. Smart, eh? Personality, too. Well, what do you do? Sing, dance, classical, eccentric, tap? Well, I, I can sing a little. Very well, then. Sing. Oh, I, I don't sing very well. No, you don't have to. I, I think I'd rather recite. All right, recite. Make it snappy. Uh, something I learned at school. I've, I've never forgotten it. From Shakespeare. Holy smoke. At last! We've been waiting for you. Where have you been? Well, I've, I've been... Uh, oh, my friend brought me in his darling car. I'm so sorry I'm late. Never keep the BBC waiting. Booth was important. He has to catch a train. Being so smart didn't get you anywhere, did it? Don't try that again, girlie. We don't like it. Mr. Boothby, this is a pleasure. The pleasure is mine, Miss Bernard. You wait till you hear her sing. It's a grand number. I know you'll like it. And you'll like it, too. Mr. Boothby of the BBC. Mr. Mr. I didn't quite get your um, name. Fred Lilly overlooked it. Um, uh, Blackstone. How do you do, Mr. Blackstone? Delighted. Your voice is an old friend. Hey there, say there, keep your chin in. The air. Do not despair. If you're wise, you'll realize that there is no time to spare. 
put your best foot forward. Step out and be free. Don't sit alone, leave your cares at home. You can string along with me. So won't you toddle along, toddle along. We've all got a little job to do. Toddle along, singing a song. The world will be singing with you too. And with a smile for every mile, we'll all go swinging. A song will cheer you and lighten your load. We've just begun to meet the sun, so keep on singing. As we go marching down the road. So why not toddle along? Join in the fun. Who are you? These offices are private. What do you want? I'm sorry, I, I was at an audition downstairs and I, uh, well, I... Can I help you? Looking for anyone? Oh, yes. Uh, someone connected with the agency. Oh, well, that's me. Everybody downstairs seems to find you busy. Well, I'm never too busy to assist a charming young lady. Oh, thank you. I came here to make inquiries about a girl called Mary. Mary? Which Mary? What about her? Oh, it's uh, awfully kind of you. You sure I'm not keeping you from something more important? I think this is important. Oh, what a nice thing to say. Well, suppose you tell me what's on your mind. Oh, of course, it's as usual. I'm talking too much. Well, that is, if, if you... Uh, oh, you'll think I'm just a foolish girl. But Mary said she'd help me to get on the stage. You see, I want to be a great actress. And earn uh, lots of money. I know, I know. Why not try Ensa? Ensa? Who's she? But now we've got to go on Till victory's won So we talk Thank you very much. That was fine. I'm afraid I must rush. Goodbye. Goodbye. Like it? It's shattering the way you sing it. Mm, you say the right things. It's one of the secrets of my success. Would you like a drink? You do say just exactly the right <laughs> things. Won't your friend, the great Ricardo, mind waiting? It'll do him good. Oh, it is a sweet car. Love me, love my car. <laughs> taxi! Hey, taxi! Cheers. Could I have a light, please? By all means. Thank you. Who's the girl? I haven't the least idea. Please, Lily, come. Uh, the, the, the trains won't wait. You're not leaving town. Oh, we open in Liverpool tonight. Oh. oh Mr. Ricardo, uh, Mr. Blackstone. Charm. The great Ricardo. I am honored. Will you join us in a drink? No, thanks. We have no time. Lily, we must go. I'll see you in Liverpool. Will you? I'll be there tonight. I must hear you sing again. Goodbye. That face, it reminds me. Who is he? An old friend of mine. Met him this morning. You picked him up? No, darling. He did the picking. I don't like being followed. You're not, Ducky. I am. I want you to do me a favor. Yes? Keep out of this. More threats. It would be a pity if anything happened to you. It won't. Tell me, do you know about the trains to Liverpool? There ought to be one every hour or so. Thanks. And thank you for your advice. You mustn't go to Liverpool. Try and stop me? Miss Verity, I have a warrant for your arrest. What? You will be charged with willfully giving false information to the police. Oh, but I didn't. You'll have to prove that. Oh, if I can't? Heavy fine or imprisonment. Inspector, Inspector. 
Look, my Hector's gone again. He ought to be at the end of this. He isn't. You must find him for me. He's been kidnapped. If you'll just wait one moment, Now, don't madam. argue with me, Inspector. I demand an arrest. Later, madam, please. Yes, but now, you... Uh... All right, I'll report you to the police. <laughs> Would you believe it? That piece of paper, my one proof, disappeared too. Yes. I remember what was on it, though. Charles Theatrical Agency. So you went there? Well? Didn't find a thing. It seemed all right, but somehow I don't quite know why. I had a queer feeling of something fishy. That's why I'm going to Liverpool. My dear, do you think you should? I've got to prove there was a murder or find the murderer. Besides, I hate being made a fool of. I know how you must feel, but it seems rather dangerous. Maybe, but, but nothing's going to stop me. No wonder you're nervous. Well, after that, I think I'd like a cup of tea. Oh, so would I. You sit here and relax. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. Oh. Huh? She's easy. Spilled everything she knows. And says she'll keep on till she finds the answer. She might just stumble on something. She might be troublesome, even dangerous. Carter was right. She's not just another silly stage-struck kid. I wonder if she's working with someone. It's difficult to say. Go back. Where's she sitting? Far corner by the window, facing the engine. All right, Faye. I'll take care of it. Sorry, we can't get any tea. It doesn't matter. I'm so afraid this case will fall. Oh, that's all right. You sit down and make yourself comfortable, hmm? Very noisy tunnel. No, an extra sound, a kind of sharp cracking. <gasps> Look! Uh, nonsense, my dear. That's been there for weeks. No. Oh, but I've seen it before. Uh, I travel back and forth quite a lot. Soldiers, you know, larking about. Thought they'd have had it repaired by now. Of course, as they say, there's a war on. Oh, are you, are you sure? Absolutely. My dear child, you are in a state. You mustn't get the jitters. Or you'll be seeing ghosts everywhere and imagining all kinds of mystery. <laughs> <laughs> we all do, sir. I know. Add three of them myself. From Blackpool. There's nine boxes. That's right. right. Thank you. <laughs> These women. Yes, but was the bullet there before or not? She said it was, but I could have sworn. Oh, I just don't know anymore. I'm beginning to doubt my own senses. Steady, steady. Have some more tea. Now, let's keep calm and stick to facts. About this bullet, we don't know. May have been meant for you. Sugar? Mm -hmm. Or you may be getting jumpy and seeing mysteries everywhere. But you've got to trust me. But you're one of the mysteries. I am? Yes. Who are you? Well, I... You're a, you're a commander to the police, uh, Mr. Blackstone or something in Charles' office. You certainly keep your ears open. Why are you following me about? I'm not following you. I'm following a clue. What clue and why? See, you ask me to trust you, and then you don't trust me. It does make it awfully... Difficult, I know. Well, here we are, Governor. I'm sorry I'm late, sir, but your message said refreshment room. Well... Of course, I never thought of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Mansell, this is Miss, uh, Miss... Verity, how do you do? How do you do, Miss? Same old trouble, sir. 
You ought always to make sure of their names first. What are you talking about? Well, the same as all them other ones, sir. Huh? Excuse us, Miss Talking Business. I've been trying to check up on these here photos, like I said, sir. But where you did remember the names, most of them's disappeared. Shh. It's funny, sir, but it seems like they sort of have a way of vanishing. Thanks for the tea. I'm so sorry I haven't a picture to add to your collection. But, uh, I shall feel safer on my own. You darn fool, Mansell. Right, sir. Shall I start checking up on the now, sir? If there's any checking up to be done on Miss... Uh, Miss Verity, uh, sir. Miss Verity, I'll do it myself. As you say, sir. I'm afraid that's the cheapest room we have available. Oh, very well. Uh, will you fill that up? And your identity card, please. Well, my paper's in my suitcase. I'll let you have them later. That will be all right, madam. Very good, please. Well, I'll take this one. One or six, please. Oh, uh, I... My wife never has any change. Thank you. Please, won't you listen to me? I want to explain. About your harem of girls that disappear? And other things. Well, if you will chase me like this, and right now I can't very well get away, I suppose I shall have to listen. Good. You see... Uh... Excuse me. Am I glad to see you? Same here, any more so. You look terrific. All dressed up. And no place to go? Yes, but no one to go with. Wrong again. This is my lucky day. Waiter? You still say the right things. What would you like? I think a uh, sidecar. So do I, but uh, gin in it is what we'll get. And how is his magnificence, the great Ricardo? That's the secret of your success. Oh, uh -huh. how come? Oh, he's busy talking over the show with child. Oh, and I thought it was my... Devastating personality? No, my darling car. <laughs> <laughs> you beast. And speaking of success, why aren't you singing in London? Child ought to be looking after that instead of running down here after his piffling floor show. It's not only that. He runs a dance academy here. Oh, uh -huh. what sort of a place is that? Oh, quite amusing. Coins money. And gives child a chance to find new talent. Mm -hmm. You see, the girls attract the sailors and troops. And the troops and sailors attract the girls. Ah. Works both ways. Don't worry about child. He's smart. This floor show, is that his too? Or do those other chaps, Benson and Carter, own it? Well, if you ask me, child owns Benson, Carter and Ricky. Still, who cares, as long as I get my salary. And your London success. Mmm, talk of the devil. Good afternoon. Aren't you the young lady who was going to recite Shakespeare to me? Oh, uh, yes. Very interesting. I'm sorry we were interrupted. This is Mr. Carter, my partner. We have met. Mr. Ricardo, the mind reader. Hello. He's in charge of our floor show. Still crazy to go on the stage? Oh, it um, may sound crazy, but I, I am. Well, as a matter of fact, Ricardo's in need of a new assistant for his own act. I'm the great Ricardo. Are you? Well, I'll give it a try. Oh, it's very kind of you, and uh, it does sound awfully interesting, but... I run a dance academy here in Liverpool. I wish you'd look in. It might amuse you. And we could discuss your future. Uh, this is the address. I think you make a good assistant. Come along tonight, won't you? Oh, I might. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got an appointment. We'll be looking out for you. Cheers. Excuse me. Let it be seven and six, please. What do you want now? Company. A few kind words. Any spare? Mm -hmm. I've got no friends in Liverpool either. You're very silent. Thinking. Mm, so was I. Hungry? So you're a mind reader, too. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, <clears throat> oh, your bill, sir. Mm, much too cheap. <laughs> sir. Thank you. That's all right. Drink to our happiness. Oh, thank you very much indeed, sir. And 
wonder she ran out on me. standing by the door. Now we can get on with it. Tell George. Miss Vanity. Welcome. So very glad you were able to get here. Oh, so, so very kind of you to ask me. Well, besides, I, I couldn't help being intrigued by the chance of a job. With Ricardo. Yes, come on. We'll see if he's arrived. Between you and me, Ricardo will do exactly as I tell him. Oh, that's wonderful. Charlie, this is Miss Verity. Look after her, will you? Oh, good evening. Oh, good evening. I'll go and hunt up Ricardo and get him to settle your business. Will you have a drink? Oh, thanks. Not just now. Bit quiet out there, Charlie. Why not a Paul Jones? Get things going. Right. Excuse me, Norman. Yes. Hello, Bill. Hello. Good evening, George. Good evening, Bill. Waiting with somebody? Well, in, in a way, sailor, I was. You walk out on a swell girl like you? Oh, not exactly. Join me in a drink. Oh, that's nice of you. I think I will now. Good. What'll it be, laddie? Oh, would a, would a small sherry be in order? Oh, why not? George, and the pint of the usual, please. Right. A little luck, this. You waiting and he doesn't turn up? Me not waiting for anybody. And I turn up. To the luck of the Navy. Yes, to it. Don't. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, no hurry. Drink up first, eh? Hmm. Oh, what do those flags mean? Signals. Oh. Well, what do you do? Oh, it's all very hush-hush. Blue pencil secret. Oh, I'm sorry. You see, I've just arrived from Canada. Stay with my uncles. They're, they're sailors, too. You don't say. Well, here's two of them. We're getting on fine, aren't we? Sure we are. Well, how about shaking your leg? Mm, can't let the Navy down. Oh, I don't know if you're queer. Oh, what's the matter? Come over all dizzy like. I won't try and dance for a moment, if you don't mind. Oh, of course not. Come over here. It's a dark. Sorry, but I'll... I'll be all right in a minute. Oh, that's funny. Oh. George! Hello, George! Is there a doctor here? Someone's ill. Can I help? In the bar. He's really ill. We must find the doctor. I'm a trained nurse. Oh, good. Oh, where is he? Oh. The sailor who was ill. Bill Grant. He's not ill, he's passed out. Passed? Well, blotto, tiddly, drunk if you will have it. Oh, he wasn't drunk. It does happen, you know. When you've seen as many as me, miss, you know it takes them all sorts of things. Now, Bill Grant, he don't know when to stop. He's been mopping it up all the evening, and he needed just that one more to make him pass clean out. Oh, where is he now? Well, he, he's sleeping it off, so you won't get into no trouble. Tucked away nice and quiet where no one will see him. He's dead. You give him too much. The drug doesn't kill. It only induces hypnosis. Well, come on. Get on with it. Give him another shot. Keep quiet. Both of you. I know what I'm doing. Bill. Bill Grant. Can you hear me? Yes. Now, I want you to listen very carefully and answer some questions. It is your duty to answer. Lives depend on it. You understand? Yes. The new flotilla leader, Dandelion. What was the last signal? Secret. Bill Grant, I'm going to tell you to open your eyes. 
When you do so, you will be in the staff office and I shall be your superior officer. Open your eyes. Repeat signal, Grant. CNC Commander Dandelion. Prepare to sail 23, 30 hours tomorrow, 17th. Dandelion. Who's in command? Commander Lippinscott, sir. Lippinscott? Please, sir. Destination of Dandelion. Signal 0349. Commander Dandelion to collect sealed orders in person. But I must know the destination. It's an important convoy. I can only get what's in his mind. All right, Bill. Thank you. Close your eyes. You will awake in five minutes. Dandelion sails, 23, 30 hours, tomorrow, 17th. Lippinscott commanding. Distinctly worthwhile. We're in luck. Lippinscott's staying at our hotel. I'll have this coded by Fay and Max to send out. All we need now is the destination. That's the job for Carter. He must handle Lippinscott. Well, goodbye. I'm going to the floor show. Oh, no, you don't. That Verity girl's waiting for you. Now? Where? Charlie's looking after her. No hurry. She will not run away. She's in the bag. Come on, young lady, standing, staring. Look as if you'd seen a ghost. Come and dance. Be careful. We're strangers we've never met before. Oh, but I... I'll explain later. What the dickens are you doing here? Well, I... I came to say I was sorry. Are you... Are you angry? Yes, furious. But our first dance must be so short. What? I have to send you home. Oh, I'd rather be taken than sent, mister. I wish I could. But my job's here. Things may happen. Something has happened. Here, yeah, to you. No, no, to a sailor, Bill Grant. Signals. Bill Grant? In a bar. One glass of beer and he passed out, then disappeared. They said he was drunk, but he wasn't. So that's the answer. Bless you. Then I... I needn't go back to the hotel? Now more than ever, I've got to find Grant. Find out other things too, maybe. I can't do my job if I'm worrying about you. Oh. Please, darling. Say things like that and you can send me to Timbuktu. Is that all? And unless I love you. What was that? I love you. I I couldn't quite hear. I hate you. <laughs> oh, I look, there's Mansell. Several of his friends from my old ship. I'm in command again tonight. That's your cue to disappear. Good night, darling. My well, sense didn't quite catch. Good night, Mr. Blackstone. Promise, Mama, I'd not be late. You're not going. Oh, I find I'm terribly tired. But Mr. Charles fixed everything. Ricardo's waiting to see you. Oh, some other evening, thank you. Good night. <laughs>
I don't get it. I just don't get it. You don't need to get anything but the 24 notes. Listen. Dandelion sails 23.30 hours tonight. That's the code, groups of six. Listen again. I've got to break it up or it won't make musical sense. Break it up as you like, but stick to the code notes. <laughs> ah, Miss Verity, I look for you everywhere. Mr. Child, speak to me about you. He's waiting for us right now. Come in. Oh, not now. I'm, uh, I'm just going home. But you can't go home. Child, I've arranged everything, and I've made up my mind. You and no one else are my assistants. I show you how to do, tonight. Well, tonight, I, uh, I shouldn't do myself justice. <laughs> to will not take you a minute. Ah, oh, my dear Miss Verity, I've arranged everything for you. She says you go home. No, I'm afraid we can't allow that. I tell you it will not take you a minute. Come along. Oh, good evening. Come into my room. Come, please. Sit down, will you? Be a good little girl. I'll leave you two together. Ricardo will show you what to do. As a matter of fact, you've very little to do. It's almost entirely a passive role. You're not afraid of me, are you? Why should I be afraid of you? Many young women in your position would be a little nervous. Now let's try it. Cheers. Yeah, what did you say to me? What did I say? I know what you said. I said what I said. Well, I won't have it. Well, I will have it. Well, have it. Hey, 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 hey. Is there anything you'd be safer in the other room? Reminds me of Blackpool. Ever so jolly. Well, thanks for the drink. Thanks for the dance. Ta-da. Cheerio. In that row, can't you? Nice thing when you can't have a drink in peace. In what? Peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Grant. Petty Officer Grant. Yes, sir. Take it easy. What happened, sir? You tell me. A girl there was, and a glass of beer. That's all I remember. Nothing else. You sure, Grant? Except a kind of dream. Queer. Like I was in the staff office, and somebody asking questions. Who? The staff officer. Only, only it wasn't. It couldn't have been. What kind of questions? Oh, about orders. In code. Secret. Climby. Oh, lucky it was just a dream. Same thing ever happened before. Afraid it has, sir. Everything under control, Captain. Now the back iron, Mansell. Yeah, the other one's all right, sir. Well, keep that on Petty Officer Grant. Very good, sir. What do you got one to? So far, we're quite easy. Yes, so far. All oh, quite easy. And now I come to the end of my turn. And for the end, I use this. Yeah. Yes. Now, what is this? You asked to be my assistant. I only want to show you... Hello. What's going on? Having trouble, Ricardo? 
I'm just so glad you've come. Who's the hysterical young lady? Why, you know... Keep calm, will you? I'll look after her. You must be late for your floor show. Yes, I go. Perhaps I rehearse her, my new assistant, too hard, eh? You'll be so good. Thank you. Why, you, you, you young! Why didn't you hit him, tear him apart? He was trying to strangle me, you... you coward. Well, why don't you... why don't you say something? So won't you toddle along, toddle along. We've all got a little job to do. Toddle along, singing a song. The world will be singing with you too. And with a smile on every mile, we'll go swinging. A song will charm you and lighten your own. We've just begun to let the sounds we're up on singing as we go marching down the road. So why not toddle along, join in the throng? Tomorrow we'll have a little fun, but now we've got to go on till victory. So we talk, talk along. Yes, sir. Tell Bobby I want to speak to her. I've only just ordered my supper. Bobby, you remember one day I said I'd give you a break? Mm -hmm. Well, this is it. Oh, really, Mr. Carter? You see that man in uniform sitting alone? He's Commander Lippinscott. I can't trust you, can't I? Oh, yes, Mr. Carter. Oh, I've just had word from the Admiralty to say that he's in danger, grave danger. I'm meeting you in on secret war stuff, Bobby. It may sound absurd, but fifth columnists do exist, you know. Now, go over and make friends with the commander. Stick with him and report whatever happens to me. Of course, he mustn't suspect. Well, I'd like to help the war. You may save his life and you will serve your country. The Admiralty will be very grateful. And I shan't forget. Well, all right, I'll do it. Good girl. Take this job, but this is war. Off you go. But now we've got to go on. Hello, Larry. I beg your pardon. Oh, dear. You're not Larry Gray. No, I'm afraid I'm not. Sorry. So am I. I was all alone and saw you and thought you were Larry. He's one of my best friends. Oh, lucky Larry. You're exactly like him. He's the nicest man in the world, and... And what? Well, I was going to say I'm terribly good-looking. Oh, really? Uh, do sit down, please. Oh, well, I couldn't. Of course, if you were Larry... Well, I look like him, and uh, I might be the second nicest man in the world. Might? Are we going to have something to eat? <laughs> Yes. This way, please. trying to attract my attention. I'd like to start with some oysters. Yes, that'll be wonderful. Good. Excuse me, my dear, Mr. Carter wants you. Does he? Where? Out in the lobby. Sorry, back in a minute. 
Larry. I couldn't talk to you in front of the girl. I'd rather not talk to you at all. But you've got to listen. A uh, waiter. Yes, sir. When the young lady returns, please ask her to meet me in the bar. I'll be alone. Put this on 122. <laughs> I thought I made myself clear. I don't want to talk to you. Now, don't be a fool, Levinska. Wrap yourself around that old son, you'll feel better. Oh, now I get it. Downstairs and in the corridor. <laughs> of course. What a numbskull. A bit slow on the uptake, I thought. Cheers. Cheers. Then there's nothing I can tell you. No. You put us onto a few things, though. Kept us hopping around a bit, too, to keep up with you. Too bad we couldn't let you in on it, but. Well, naturally uh... not. But then that trial of mine. Camouflage. You see, we had to have proof. Not about you, but about them. And we still want it. I'm afraid all I've got is jigsaw pieces that don't fit. The agency in Blackpool, this Liverpool dance hall dive, Child and his crew, the murder, Grant. They're all part of it somehow. Yeah, we got some pieces too. Let's try and fit them together. Oh, by the way, you'll be glad to know that uh, that new girl of yours, Miss Laura Verity, is beyond suspicion. Quite in the clear. Eh? Oh, we checked up on her, of course. Mm. Quite unnecessary. But about the gang, you could round them all up right now. We could, of course, but that wouldn't give us the how of it. You mean catch them with the goods, as it were? Exactly. Yeah. And you, I suppose, are the cheese in the trap. I resent that. I prefer the uh, innocent lamb of sacrifice. Ruddy lion in lamb's clothing, that's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect day to take a pretty girl for a drive. Mm. What's on your mind? Well, after last night, won't Bobby think it a bit strange if I come along with you? Oh, I don't know. I'll tell her that you didn't want to borrow any money after all. <laughs> Picking up your sealed orders from the control office? Yes, that's why I want you with us. I say, you don't suppose, do you, that when dear little Bobby sees me get him, that she'll run straight away and tell Carter? I'm sure she will. Yes, that's what I thought. You know, she seems a darn nice girl. Do you think she's one of the gang? No, they're just using her, just as they did Mary. So we use Bobby, too, and make sure the same thing doesn't happen to her. Meet you outside. My car. Well, it's their next move. You said it. Oh, I got a bit stiff in the joint sitting there all night, Governor. The turn down on the lower deck could loosen them up a bit. That is, if uh, you're not in too much of a hurry, sir. That's a very good idea. Thank you, Manson. It's all right, sir. Who is it? Only me. Oh, half a second. Morning, Mr. Blackstone. Darling. Oh, no time to start that again. Oh, thanks for the flowers. I, I'm not quite ready yet, but I will hurry. No breakfast, sir. You've got to go out. Oh. Oh, is it that blonde again? Not at this hour. Two brunettes. <laughs> Mansell will keep his eagle eye on you till I get back. Thanks. Dick? Once we've bagged our rats, I'll take over permanently. Good. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. So am I. Thank you. Yes? Yes. Good morning, Mr. Ricardo. Oh, for last night, I must thank you very much, my friend. It was a pleasure. Hello there. I hope I haven't kept you waiting. Oh, worth waiting for. Well, I hurried. I didn't even stop for breakfast.
Where's child? Well, what's all the excitement? Bobby and Lippinscott, they go in his car, all right. But with them goes this Mr. Blackstone, and he's Commander Heritage. Heritage? Yes. And together in adjoining rooms, uh, he and Lippinscott, they sleep. And in the papers of Heritage, I find this. That's not so good. No, I don't like it. Not one little bit. I'm afraid. Losing your heads won't help. They don't know what we're doing. They have nothing to get on to. But this, this connects with Orchard Cottage. And there they have something to get on to. He's right, boss. That's your job. You'd better take care of it. Yes, I go. I make everything safe. And the sooner the better. What are you, a bunch of old women? No need to panic. I wonder if we're going to have much more use for that fella. What about the better to go? Lippin's cut on those orders of his are the big thing right now. We'll take a chance with her. She can't trip us up. at all. Then why didn't you answer when I... Going somewhere? Lily, come with me. We get away, both of us, right now. Before my broadcast tonight, quit the show. But that is not important. Well, to me it is. It's my job. You're always raving about my voice and the great career you're planning for me. And now you want me to chuck it. Why? You do not understand. You're right, I don't. I've been wondering for months, but I didn't bother about it because I was working and getting paid for it. There's something screwy about the whole setup. Carter, child, and that doctor guy, and you. Oh, forget about it. Y you must come with me. You're scared stiff. What are the bunch of you up to? Leave that alone. Look, Ricardo, I've been pushed around and stood for it. But there's one thing I won't stand for. If this business has got anything to do with the war we're fighting, I'll... <gasps> Wine. Oh, hello, Mansell. What on earth are you doing here? Just having a bit of a sit down, miss. Uh. Mansell, this is ridiculous. Are you going to follow me around like this? Sorry, Miss Commander's orders. I shan't obtrude. Just keep an eye on you. Look. I must follow him. I'm sorry, Miss. It can't be done. Oh, but I must. I'm sorry, Miss. Now, don't be a fool, Mansell. You can come too. I promised the Commander we wouldn't leave the hotel. I'm going to follow him. Now, sorry, Miss. Get out of my way. Sorry, Miss. Oh, look. The policeman. Yeah. He's after me. No good, miss. You'll have to think up a better one than that to get rid of me. Oh, but he is a policeman and he is after me. Are you protecting me or are you not? Yes, she's staying here. I think I saw her coming down the stairs only a few moments ago. Oh, there she is. Here he comes. Don't you let him get me. Excuse me, no admittance. What do you mean? What I say, no admittance. You were talking to Miss Verity. I was. She's in the restaurant. She is. I want to speak to her. You can't. Why not? Because I say so. Oh, and who are you? Never you mind. Well, that's me, Detective Inspector Burrows, and Miss Verity is wanted. Blimey! I'm sorry, sir, but we don't serve breakfast after half past ten. Has a young woman been in here? Just this minute, sir. Where did she go? Through there.
on. I'm going to follow that car. You're under arrest for abducting the police. Shoot me. <laughs> Sir? Oh, thank you, Blaine. Radford, take this to the ship. I want the acknowledgement signal in the usual way. Very good, sir. Hello? Yes, will you pass the information on? All right. Now, Scratch, have you got that envelope ready? Put this blank sheet of paper in it. Let's have your secret stamp on the outside. Lovely, thanks. Got him? Hello. May I look? Secret. Oh, how thrilling. What's inside? Ah. <laughs> coming to you, young woman. Listen, I don't ride around in the back of cars on the rugs for fun. I follow the man who murdered that girl and hid the body. I've had quite enough of that. Come on, both of you. But at least you might go and teach yourself what he's doing. Oh, all right. Come on, come on. Good morning. I must apologize for interrupting you. This is purely a routine visit. Just an ordinary wartime checkup. Could I see your identity card? Certainly. Thank you. Yes, that's quite in order. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Oh, not in the least, not at all. I'm very happy the police are so careful. Good morning, Mr. Ricardo. Oh, but I've seen you before this morning, haven't I? Oh, you have been energetic. <laughs> Digging for victory. Oh, splendid, and in someone else's garden, too. I still don't know what your game is, young lady, but I've seen all I want to. It's time we were going. Something's burning. Look. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> You stay where you are, Sonny. For the next half hour in the Forces program, we're taking you to hear the floor show at the Regal Hotel, Liverpool, with Lily Bernard and the Melody Makers. So, over to the hotel. <laughs> now, in codes and ciphers, this is where you do your stuff. Right, sir. What's the leader in his solo bits? He'll play certain groups of notes. Yes, I know what to look for, sir. The boys don't recognize the code they're using. We're sunk. Oh, I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> He's getting in, sir. I hope so. 
Yes, I've got it, sir. Falls into four groups of six. 2G code, I think. 2G is right. Makes it easy. Dandelion sells 23, 30 hours tonight. <laughs> Weapons cops out there. With Bobby? She's done her stuff. Fell for my patriotic rival. Have you got the props? That'll do. So much for HMS Dandelion. Now, when you get the real one from Lippincott, slip it to me. We've got to work fast, Faye. Max must get the bearings over when he does his next turn. Charlie and George are waiting for you in your apartment. I'll see them later. Dr. Benson, Mr. Carter, you're on. Thank you. Thank you. Now, careful. No slip up. All right, cut it. OK. Now, ladies and gentlemen, those princes of magic, those wizards of give and take, the great Dr. Benson, assisted by the inimitable Carter. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now show you, with the help of my friend Carter... Carter. Carter. Excuse me, ma'am. Then you stand there. Johnson, upstairs. You know what to do. Come on, boys. Ah, trick for you, sir. Would you mind holding the train? Certainly. Now, here's a serviette. Watch very closely. One, two, three. All right? Compliments of the management. <laughs> ah, trick for you, sir. Would you mind holding your hands out? Now, this is the wishing trick. I want you to wish for something you'd like. One, two, three. Is that it? <laughs> I, sorry, I, I did the trick wrong. Would you mind just trying it once more? Certainly. Thank you very much. Now, this time, wish hard. That's right. Keep your eyes on me. One, two, three. Is that better? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Cheerio, sir. Now, for our next trick, I shall require the assistance of a gentleman from the audience. Would any gentleman oblige? I will. Would you kindly come this way, sir? You got it? Of course. Oh, well, I must say, I've got a very fine specimen. <laughs> Nothing wrong, as far as I can see. Uh, uh, one moment, sir. Excuse me. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> My dear sir. <laughs> However, I dare say we can make use of them. Now, I want to start by binding your eyes. These will do as well as a handkerchief. Uh, don't worry, you shall have them back, and the lady won't be disappointed. Uh, let's see. At least I'm on to be quite certain that you can't. Get him up, Carter. I got the dandelion code message from the harmonica, and I know what Benson took from Commander Libyan Scott and what he put in its place. Ladies and gentlemen, you've tonight witnessed a very remarkable performance. During this apparently harmless entertainment, information of vital importance to the enemy has been taken from a member of the audience. A code message has been sent from this stage designed to sink one of His Majesty's ships. Secret orders have been stolen from a naval officer and fake ones substituted. In order to prove this, I shall require the assistance of a gentleman from the audience. Are you oblige? Thank you, please. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid my sleight of hand is less subtle than yours, Herr Carter. You have a sealed envelope in your pocket, I believe. Yes. Is that the envelope that was given you today at the Royal Navy Control Office? Of course it is. 
Well, it looks like it, but I marked the one you mentioned. And there's no mark on that one? None. Good. That's all we want. Burroughs? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, no Allied ships will be lost as a result of this enemy action. The envelope they took from my friend's pocket was harmless. Quite. Just a blank sheet of paper, that's all. And as far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, that is all. Carry on, Burroughs. Please keep your seats for a few minutes. The place is surrounded by police. There are several more members of this troop whose public appearances are now over, permanently finished. In the meantime, Miss Lily Bernard will entertain you. <laughs> well, there they go, Miss. All right, Mansell, I'll take over now. Very good, sir. Well, good luck, Miss. Ooh. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mansell. Well, I got him in the bag. Yes, miss. You've got me, too. Oh, the most extraordinary thing has happened. What? For once, I'm... I'm nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs>